What's up, plant family? So today the question is, how late is too late? I was driving around the other day and um, I saw some beautiful plants that had a sign, plants on sale, but I'm here in the middle of December in Westchester, Pennsylvania, zone 6B. So the question, how late is too late? Can I actually get these plants on discount and plant them? And will they actually survive through the winter? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna be addressing in this video, as well as giving tips and tricks how to do so most effectively. So this video is primarily concerned with shrubs and trees, both evergreens like these Ilex hollies, as well as deciduous shrubs like this viburnum over here. Um, herbaceous perennials have a little bit different rules of thumb than these guys because these are a little bit more robust. Now, most of us know that early autumn is the absolute best time to get our shrubs, trees, and perennials in the ground because it often gives our plants about a month to six weeks of time in the soil before our first freezes, which will allow them to really acclimate their roots into the ground. Now, that being said, if you are into your late autumn or early winter and you can still get your shovel or your spade into the ground and dig a hole, then that means it's okay to get your plants in the ground for both our shrubs and our trees. If your ground is frozen and you can't dig into it, then you're going to need to think about an overwintering strategy if you already uh, you know, pulled the trigger and bought those plants on discount. Thankfully for me, as you can see, I can get my shovel into the earth, so that means these plants are gonna be A-OK -okay to get planted right now on December 15th here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. All right, so now that we know we can get our plants in the ground, there's a few things we wanna keep sure that we do not do when we're planting our plants at this time of year. Number one, we don't want to add any soil amendments to our soil. Oftentimes in soil amendments, whether it be compost or bagged potting mix, they will have some fertilizers in there and that can stimulate growth. And we want our plants to have an opportunity to kind of rest over the winter time. So we don't want any sort of stimulation. Furthermore, we will not be adding any slow release fertilizers or watering in with any fertilizer either at this moment. Okay, so now it's time to take our plants out of the pot. And if we are planting in the springtime or the early autumn, we will typically kind of rough those roots up. But in this instance, we want to disturb our roots as little as possible. Since, they're really, since the soil is not warm enough to allow for root growth to really occur right now, we don't want to rough them up. And we want to just let them be so that they can kind of just get nice and situated in the soil over the winter time. So then when the spring season arrives, they're able to start growing naturally um, as easily as possible. Furthermore, we don't wanna do any pruning at this time either. If we are pruning them, that also they're not gonna have an opportunity to heal those wounds. And often what will happen is that they will have desiccation, which basically means the stems will dry from the inside out. And then in the springtime, you're gonna to have to go and remove all of that dead um, stem material. So you don't wanna do any pruning now. Wait to do any pruning in the spring. So now we'll just go ahead and get it planted up like we normally would. And now once it's planted in, we want to give it a nice heavy drink of water and we're going to want to monitor the precipitation. And if we're not getting weekly precipitation, you're going to need to go, you know, bring, most of us have probably turned off the valves of our hoses. So that's why I, you can see I have my hand pail here um, and you're going to need to give it additional water once a week as long as during the weeks that you don't get any precipitation, all right? Um, and if you have a hard freeze on your forecast, it's awesome to give it a nice heavy drink of water just prior to that hard freeze. And that's gonna help really protect it from getting um, dried out during that cold, extra cold weather. Now, one thing we wanna be on the lookout for is something called heaving. Heaving is basically when you're, uh, when the ground freezes, sometimes it can push your plant and its roots up out of the soil, and that will expose the roots of your plant to the cold air. That's not good, you don't want that to happen. A common plant that that will occur to is um, coral bells, heuchera. Now that we have it planted, watered in, we wanna give it a nice three to four inch layer of mulch that can be wood chips, aged bark mulch, could be gravel, leaf mold compost. Um, I actually just had my gutters cleaned and they bagged up some of the leaves that were in the gutters and I'm actually gonna use that as my mulch for this holly. Now 
And one last tip is that during the winter time, deer are hungry. So I always like to add some deer scram, um, deer repellent to my plant. And that's gonna just give it a little bit of protection from the deer. If you're looking for some, just check the link in the description below um, for a link to this stuff. And that's pretty much all that you need to know regarding whether or not it's too late to get your shrubs and trees planted in your garden right now. If you do have any further questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel. We're bringing new plant-related content every single week. Thanks for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.